maybe someone can report back here how much is a Navajo. All right, so I'm going to do this installation. I was going to do this off of stream, but I figured you guys might want to see how I do this. So the FSE Flight Planner is a, is a freeware application. And they're uh, up to version 1.69. So what I'm going to do is, because I, I don't have a previous version, I'm going to go ahead and download the full release, which is uh, 36 megs. So we'll come over here to Dropbox. We'll then come down here and go direct download. And we'll let that come on down. The C90 is 11. That's true, it is 11. 407 is the Dreamfoil one you flew. Oh, well then that's perfect. Maybe we can even get Cessna Rocks doing some jobs for us. I didn't realize the 407 was was um, six passengers. That's awesome. Yes, that would be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Get rid of these and put these over there. And I'm going to take the FSE flight planner and I'm going to extract it. Uh, yeah, can one of my moderators please give Taylor a, a permit? All right, so there's the FSE flight planner. There's the root. I'm going to go ahead and copy that over to... I'm going to actually copy it over to my D drive. There's the FSC flight planner on the D drive. Then I need to go over to... I need to download another program. I'm going to download Google Earth Pro on the desktop. So you go to google.com slash earth slash desktop. Or if you go to google.com slash earth, you come up here to the upper portion and you click on older versions. And under older versions, you click download. And then you agree to download. And then we're going to run the installation of Google Earth Pro, which may go away sometimes since they're going so web-based. Uh, what's up? Epic Nobody, good morning. Thank you, Goldsy. There are no Navajos for sale in the U.S. Oh, cheapest is in New Zealand. Bummer. Josh is here. Epic stream last night. Hey, Josh. Josh is with Hot Snacks. Get your Hot Snacks here. <laughs> okay, so Google Earth is now installed. So that that's that's uh, a requirement for this FSE planner tool. So now I'm going to go over to the D drive and I'm going to grab under FSE flight planner. I'm going to open up FS economy flight planner. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll send one to the desktop here. So if I go send to desktop shortcut that way I can access it quickly, but we'll launch the FS economy, um, FS economy uh, program. It comes up and it says, where is your Google Earth uh, executable? So if I type in Google Earth uh, into my search bar, I right click on it and I open the file location. Oh, it gives me the shortcut file location. If I look at the properties, of the shortcut it takes me to C program files x86 Google 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 Earth Pro client etc we then come back over to the FSE flight planner and we type in the location of Google Earth dot exe are you following me any questions Girls are snoozing more to come later today. Oh, I heard, yeah. I, I heard that uh, there were some lessons being given last night in the pit. Flight sim lessons. FSE is Pilot Pete 146. Private cell is active now. Ah, perfect. 
I'm going to take a pause then and go over and grab that Bell 407. That's very generous of you. So if I come here and I come up here to purchase aircraft and I go to view private cells and then I come down here. Oh, there it is. The Bell 407 for a dollar purchase for snack air. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. I'm going to give you some snacks for that. Add old PB. I'm going to give you 260 snackies. Oh, wait. I need to do it the other way around. 260 to old PB. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Racket. Hawaii to SFO it is 13 hours. Oh, wow. We need a ferry tank. Oh, to get the Navajo from New Zealand to the U.S.? Yeah. Couldn't we box it up and put it in a uh, in a PBM? A PBM. A uh, B-19? All right, back to the install. So once you do the location of the Google Earth program, you then hit, and you want to get rid of the quotes. No quotes if you do copy that from the shortcut. And then it comes up and it says, oh, you, we need your username and password. So there is my pass, uh, my username. My password is, it's not XXXX. I don't remember what my password is. And then you click log on. And then once that once that uh, once that is in, now we have the query tool up and running. I'll close a few of these windows. And this is kind of cool. This is where the fun stuff starts, right? So the Google Earth loads up. You don't have to have the tips at startup. And already we got something going on. Oh, you know what it did? This is so cool. Okay, so this is it it brought in it brought in myflight.kml. So the active flight plan right now that I have jobs ready to go starting from Long Beach uh headed up to Bakersfield and then from Bakersfield to Fresno, Fresno up to Oakland, and then Oakland over to our Snack Airs FBO at Mustang, fresh with a hot jacuzzi to Charlie Lima 9. So that's the, that's the current jobs that are in right now. But here is the fun part. The system is very, uh, it, it's very interesting. I mean, the, the ability to do queries is the highlight of this program, right? So let's just say, for example, I want to, you know, go down and visit Josh J. Gibbs. San Diego Lindbergh. Uh, I want to find jobs at San Diego Lindbergh, right? Get jobs, uh, get jobs departing San Diego Lindbergh. And let's say that I want to generally travel north. Uh, so let's say I want jobs that are 350 degrees in direction from Limburg, but I'm also willing to go plus or minus, let's say, 30 degrees. All right? I can then say I also only want jobs that are more than 100 miles, or I can say less than 100 miles. Let's go less than 150. I can then either, I can do further sort, or further filter by choosing cargo or passengers or all. I'm, I don't discriminate. And then after that I click, oh, and then we can also do this. We can say get rid of water bases. I'm not in the mood for military today. Uh, I want small 
or large airports. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Query. And then I'm going to Google Current Query. It comes up and it says changes have been made to the criteria. Would you uh, like to apply them to the selected query? Yes. So now these these this filters are coming in and being generated and then it's going to come up oh you know what it didn't like the extra filter so let's go back to queries let's get civilian it didn't like that civilian uh, we'll do airstrips that's fine local billion okay update query google current let's see if what happens with that there we go so now all the jobs have come in and then also it's saying, do you want to reload the query KML file? Yes, I do. So now we have all of these jobs charted on the map. So what it does is it says, okay, from Limburg, and we can do further filtration because there's quite a bit here, but you can pick points along the way and then let's say we want to go to Chino for example we click on Chino it shows the jobs it shows KSAN it shows jobs going back to KSAN and then you can do further planning to get your if you're trying to get up to a, a particular location now I'm gonna go ahead and toggle my flight off we got a sub crash there's a lot of jobs Oh, we got play around gaming with 201 with the dono. Thank you. I'm going to do a little bit more filtering. Let's see. Let's do within 10 degrees. Oh, less than 1500. I, I did one extra zero. So less than 150. Um... Update the query, Google Current. Yes, yes. All right, so that's refined a little bit more. So you can see, you can see that we've got jobs coming up north, up to Pomona. The other thing that you can do is that you can click on this, and you can come up, and it has the the FS Economy website uh, built in. So if you were to type in your uh, username. I'll just come over here to the roulette table for a second while I type in my password. So over here you can see that we can quickly go in and look at airports, etc. If we close that, let's say we just click on uh, bracket um, we can click on bracket there it's going to bring up all of the jobs from bracket inside of Google Earth so it's pretty handy there's a lot more to this um, this program this flight planner uh, but it does help you plan for the most lucrative routes so I encourage if any of you haven't tried it uh, give it a go yeah, I saw that. You put less than 1,500. Yep. Oops. <laughs> it did make me look at chat. <laughs> it, seem, it still seems a bit primitive, but I can see where it could go real soon. Oh, you're talking about the VR. Yeah, yeah. I want to try the VR, but I need to get a uh, a headset. How much is the Rift? now anyway all right so that's that's the FSE planner um, and then you can save it so I'll just save that as San Diego hit save there's a lot more to it I won't go into all the details but uh, it's kind of a nice tool to have all right let's uh, let's launch 